Hi Leos, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the what you need to know. Oh, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> the January 2022 readings. There might be something in the what you need to know in the next uh, 72 hour readings. I know every now and again I I, I tend to do that, but um, I actually haven't for the first half of the zodiac, Leo. So that must be there must be something in in there for you. Okay. Um, if you do not follow me on Instagram, please feel free to. I go live every Sunday for week ahead readings. I also do the uh, new moon and the full moon readings over there. I have a, a collective shadow um, shadow work discussion about the Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Galen Maxwell investigation. We also go into tarot and get healing messages if you guys want to go ahead and check that out on the Instagram. If you're looking for a personal reading, you could do that through the link tree here on YouTube or you could do that through the, uh, directly through the link in the bio on my Instagram. Also, if you guys are looking for any of my books, they are on Lulu and Amazon.com. All right. Let's see. Messages for Leo. Oh, also, Leo, kindly like, share, and subscribe. Especially if the messages are relatable. Okay, let's see. What's the first message here? We have Mars. Force. Yes. I'm on my blanket. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Okay, Mars Force. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a fellow Leo here, but I feel like someone is trying to force themselves into a situation or force themselves into your life, Leo. Yeah, with Venus love here, uh, Venus is in retrograde right now. There could be an uh, an ex that's coming back from the past here. Yeah, with the South Noid here. Yeah, there's there's unfinished business with an ex here, Leo. Um, life's debts here. That somebody there's a soul contract that needs to be um, that needs to be um, put to a, put to rest here. Um, it could be with the Sagittarius or a Scorpio because currently the South Noid is in Sagittarius. However, we're moving into Scorpio on the 18th. So that sh South Noid shift may be um, the trigger that brings this person back. Okay, Leo? It could be a Gemini too because I, I'm, I actually have my iced tea here. And I know you can't see her, but my cat is drinking the iced tea. Okay? I feel like... There's going to be a lot of tea spilled, Leo. Could be dealing with a Gemini once again. What cat that do you know drinks iced tea? All right. You have Chiron healing in the reverse. This person doesn't want to heal the situation. This could be... Um, this can be a very controlling ex here that, that might be triggered back into your life, um, Leo. Yeah, with Virgo, I analyze. You could kind of, I feel like you feel this shift coming. You feel this person coming towards you. And they're not coming towards you with love the way that you expect. You two could have been in love in, love in the past. Or you guys um, could have made love in the past. You guys could have been fucking for a while or whatever. But this person wants to control you. They don't want to love you. They want to control you. Yeah, with the Aquarius here, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you know, you know. Yeah, and with Scorpio, I transform. You're, I feel like you're about to bring a tower because I think that you're about to stand up for yourself. Leo, and this person is not fucking ready for it. They're not ready. No, with creating creating heaven on earth, I'm, yeah, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. It's happening as we speak. Like, as we speak right now, this person's ego is breaking down and they're trying to come towards you. It could be that there's someone, because I feel two separate energies here. I feel like there's a broken energy with the Chiron card. It could be a, um, a Scorpio or a, or a fellow Leo or an Aries. There's this Venus, a Venetian energy, this Virgo energy. And then there's this... Um, Okay, I see now. These there was a breakup in the past here, um, Leo, and it was very public. But as publicized as this breakup was, is as publicized as this um, reun reuniting here, this reconciliation. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, with the Pleiades here, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. I feel like this person was triggered by your light. And even though they love you and even though they want to be with you, they can't because there's just there's this envy or this jealousy that's risen inside of them, Leo, that cannot appreciate who you are and what you bring to the table. No, see, like this person with the South Noid here, this person is was very much in their ego in the past. So if you offered some kind of committed relationship in the past here, um, Leo, this person rejected it. They rejected it. Um, you could have been dealing with an Aquarius here, but this per like I said, with the mirror and the Virgo, I analyzed this person saw your potential way before you saw it in yourself with the mirror card here. It's like this person knew the moment that you saw your value and saw your worth, they weren't, you weren't going to want to be with them anymore. So instead of, um, instead of going and living out that rejection, they rejected you. It could have been somebody from your family here with the soul fam under the deck, but this person is still unhealed. With Keepers of the Earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Yeah, I feel like you're dealing with a very toxic family member here, Leo. This person is trying to come back and reconcile with you, but your ancestors are keeping um, a complete block on this person. I'm feeling a lot of Seven of Wands energy, Leo. That is your energy. So you are divinely blocked from whatever it is that this person is trying, any hostilities this person is trying to bring to your door. Yeah, with Lumeria, again, with I Analyze, you know, you see it coming, you see it coming, and you know it's happening. Clarify, you have transformation and get grounded, for I know, and we have transformation under the deck, and then look, you have the crumbling, you could be dealing with the, with the, with the Scorpio here, because you have Scorpio three times already out. But look, you need to call back your power here. Like I said, we had transformation under the deck. This is this person's tower moment. You getting grounded and realizing that you're actually way too good, way better than this person could ever offer is the only thing that you need to move forward successfully. I feel I, I just keep hearing like I can't wait. I just can't wait. I can't wait for you to be on my level. Leo, that I mean that's that's totally fine. If, you're, if you cannot wait for this person to transform and be at your level, if you're ascending, you need to ascend. Ascension doesn't wait for anybody. With the double mission, the Pleiades energy. Yeah, and you're ready to go with the ripeness here. You're all ready to go. You're out of your cocoon already. Now, if this person is barely getting into the chrysalis phase, that's up to them. That's not up to you. They could have... I, it's ordinariness. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. They had a chance to be extraordinary with you. They had a chance to go through this transformation and blow up and bloom up. And they chose instead to be triggered by you. And it's crazy because we have the blossoms here and then we have the blossoms here and the get grounded. Like this person wanted blossoming abundance with you, but it's because they saw you blossomly abundant. This person was really triggered by you. You could be dealing with the twin flame. Yeah, with understanding here. Yeah, I feel like if you're not dealing with um, a toxic family member, you're definitely dealing with the twin flame dynamic. This person, this person, you broke them down. You broke them down with the no here. I feel like you set up certain boundaries and you let them know from the get go that this wasn't going to be no in and out bullshit. They were either here for the long run or they weren't. And if they weren't, you were, you were able to stand in your power, Leo, and walk away. With pride, with your pride and your dignity, as you should. Yeah, but this still, is, this person is very stressed, and it's causing you stress. But you're at this point where, like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but I'm leaving anyway. You could have tried to keep this leash on me, and you could have, but while you're keeping this leash on me, you're trying to juggle twenty billion other things and as you're doing that while you're juggling over here 
I'm going to make my escape. Yeah. Wow. We are the world came out in the reverse. This person doesn't want to end this cycle with you. But they have no choice. You could be dealing with the fixed sign. You could be dealing with um, a Taurus, a Scorpio, a fellow Leo again, or an Aquarius, which we have Aquarius here too at the end that I know. You know. You know. Sean Mendes vibes. I know what you did last summer. Just lie to me. There's no other. Tell me where you've been. He's a Leo too. Like, you know where this person's been. This person doesn't have to tell you their secrets. Yeah, and that's why this person's in sorrow because they're, they don't, you don't need to guilt them into anything. They've guilted themselves into this reconciliation because they need to tell you that they fucked up. And they're ready to tell you that, yeah, with the awareness here, they went through um, some kind of sudden uh, spontaneous awakening here. Um, it could be the, it could be the South Noid shift, uh, the North Noid shift, um, excuse me. Out of um, Gemini into Taurus on the 18th, 1111, as I said that, that's actually going to really trigger this person into this uh, spontaneous awakening here with the awareness card. And you're going to get your justice. All right. That's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped. Bye.